What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Bliss ROM on this device. As you can see the Bliss version over here says 12.8, on top we have the Bliss logo, then we can see the changelog and the maintainer says unofficial maintainer but it is an actually official build. As you can see here the build status and this is the 3rd July 2020 build and in terms of the Android version and security patch you can see this is latest June 5th 2020 security patch but not quite July yet and here as you can see the Android version is 10 of course. The stock kernel is perf G kernel some kind of and the build number over here is present. Now let's talk about the flashing procedure quickly over here. So let me talk about three ways here. If you're coming from older MIUI version to this custom ROM, you need to format the data once and then you flash the latest firmware which is 12.0.1 MIUI firmware, then flash the ROM file. The gapps file, this does not include gapps, so that is why you need to flash some kind of open gapps nano version of ARM64 10.0. So flash that gapps and flash if disabler 2 if you want to go decrypted way. So that is one method and if you're coming from the latest MIUI 12.0.1 MIUI, latest update of MIUI 12, if you're coming from that, you do not need to flash any format, you just format data, reboot the recovery once. Then flash the ROM file, the gapps file, if disabler and you reboot. And if you're coming from a custom ROM and you are already on the latest firmware, you do not need to flash or wipe the firmware vendor. You just go to wipe, select the cache Dalvik system data, just wipe four of those things and flash the ROM file, the gapps file and if disabler. That is how easy it is to flash this ROM and make sure you are doing everything with the latest Orange Fox recovery version R10.1 underscore 3. Now let's jump into the ROM's things over here. The stock camera, well it is actually the MIUI camera and it does not have any issues as you can see it switches between the cameras super fast, no issues with this MIUI camera, even the front camera and stuff is working flawlessly here as you are noticing. You can take portrait photos and stuff, everything is working over here that's not a problem and inside video section as you can see you can shoot up to 1080p 30fps with the front camera as you can see. And in terms of the rear camera videos you can shoot up to 4k 60fps as you are noticing here. This MIUI camera pretty much works flawlessly, you should not worry about the stock camera here. I have also installed the Google Camera 7, this is the Unix version of the Google Camera. This is working fine flawlessly, if you want to install this Google Camera 7 on your device, here is a card for you. And all three lenses including night sight and stuff, everything is working here. You should not worry about this Google Camera 7 on this ROM. Now let's talk about the stock launcher. To the left we have this Google's Discover page. Swiping down gets you to the notification panel or the quick settings panel here as you are noticing. Swiping up gets you to the app drawer. One thing that I do not like here is that like this panel, this suggestions panel I cannot simply disable. Even though if I go into the settings as you can see, there are a little bit of customizations here and there. But that particular option to disable the suggestions in the app drawer is not simply here. So yeah, that's how it is. And over here in this launcher, we do have the double tap to lock. As you can see, it does work flawlessly. And let me unlock the device. And it is not too fast. I mean, the fingerprint scanner is not too fast. But yeah, it does work. As you can see, it unlocked now. Let's do some more unlocks. As you can see, the fingerprint scanner speed is not bad, but it is pretty reliable I would say, it is not too fast in my opinion. As you can see it did not unlock now, even now, let's try, okay, now it did. So you have to put the finger over there for some time as you can see. Let's do it again, alright now it unlocked. So yeah the film scanner works but it is not the fastest I have seen. And in terms of the quick settings panel here is how it looks like and as you can see we have some toggle adding option and you can add a bunch of toggles over here and the stint you are noticing on these quick toggles this I have set the gradient color and the accent color separately so that's why it is looking like this which I, I will show you later on so and here we have the screen recorder option let me show you as you can see this is the oxygen waste kind of screen recorder we have the resolution changing option then, then the bitrate changing option is there and number of frames you can set from like 15 to 60 fps options are there and in terms of the audio source you can change it to internal audio or the microphone audio and also there is this fps counter it shows the fps on the top left of the screen and as you can see the fps should be working pretty fine it shows the fps all the time on the left looks pretty cool i would say yeah it might be helpful for you guys if you are playing pubg or stuff 
you can see the fps all the time and also there is the dark theme of course dark theme looks very beautiful in this rom because of that gradient kind of thing and yes i would say i have been using with the dark theme and it has been working great also we have the night light which makes the display yellowish this works fine and the home screen widgets and stuff are working totally fine too let me go into the settings and here we have the blissify settings and over here we get all the customizations and this is what i like from this bliss rom insane amount of customizations are there and i have no problems with the customizations here it pretty much has all the things i need let me begin with the status bar we have the clock style you can choose it to be right center left or hidden and then we have the clock and date this is the status bar kind of clock and date so you can set am pm style over here as you can see the am pm appeared on the left top and here we have the date you can have the date over here just like this too so yeah you can increase the font size the other things like this as you can see i know it looks ugly i'm just doing it just to show you guys you can even change the clock font color so that it's really good let me go into the battery style here we have the icon portrait circle and dot circle circle field etc but no big dotted circle or big circle over here and we have the enable battery percentage or you can disable it if you want to or enable inside the icon then we have the battery percentage when charging and stuff and custom charging symbol is there and then battery bar is there if you want to use that and inside system icons we have the headset bluetooth etc icons also nfc icon is there but the indian redmi k20 pro does not have the nfc and inside this advanced system icons we do have the volti icons and you can see there are plethora of options in terms of the volti icons you can choose from any of them and then we have the vo wi-fi icon style as you can see there is this like you can choose from oxygen OS, motorola asus and mui and as you can see you can have both of them together even though you have one sim card you can have the volti and vo wi-fi etc logos just like this and you can choose the vo wi-fi icon too from here so this is what i like in this rom everything is a lot more customizable and here we have the show logo logo color and stuff you can set a custom logo of course status bar weather and stuff is there then small mobile data type and stuff is there 4g icon instead of lt is there bluetooth battery stats you can enable it or disable it if you want then carrier level customization is there inside network traffic indicator you can have a network traffic indicator of course but i use a separate app for this so yeah let me go back we have the brightness control so you can just swipe just like this on the status bar to control the brightness as you are noticing this is a really helpful feature and i use it on a daily basis let me go back we have the quick settings panel here we have the header kind of thing and here you can enable a header image just like this let me show you so i have set this one this bliss logo over here and this looks really really beautiful on the top as you can see in the header image you can set anything and with the dark theme this will look a lot better and here we have the select local image option so if you want to set a custom image for the header you can do that quick pull down from right left or always is there then clock settings is there and you can have some system info option so data usage in quick setting toggle is there too if you want that then we have the auto brightness brightness control buttons and column and row number customization is there you can set the column like numbers from here and you can set the tiles of course and column and row number customization is there again then we have the quick setting opacity and the blur behind the quick settings is there new tint style is there display footer text option is there settings icon and then battery style you can have a battery style for the quick setting panel itself and battery percentage and stuff you can enable that then we have the battery estimates and bluetooth battery stats is there again let me go back we have the animations here we have the system animation and the animation style you can change to flip or rotate for the quick setting toggles let me scroll down we have the screen of animation changing option to crt or scale or the simple fade let me go back to the buttons here we have the invert layout if you're using two or three button navigation edge long swipe action is there you can have anything over here and then power menu option is there we can enable the advanced reboot over here and as you can see let me show you if i tap restart now i can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot from here let me go back we have the end call option and then long press for torch is there this works fine by the way and the volume panel looks like this looks very beautiful in my opinion if you set a tint color and it gives me a little bit of haptic feedback every time i scroll through just like this on the volume panel and as you can see you can expand the volume panel just like this from here and we have the volume steps you can control it and then volume button and screenshot type you have to set it to take full screenshot and extend it if you want that long kind of screenshot gesture then we have the wake device answer call control playback etc for the buttons and inside lock screen we have the lock screen clock style of course you can customize it from here as you can see and i have set the lock screen clock just like this looks very beautiful in my opinion as you can see on the always on display too 
looks pretty bold i guess and of course you can change the fonts the colors then the clock font size etc for the lock screen then we have the date widget and the weather widget and stuff is there too over there and pocket detection mode is there and as you can see fod icon picker is there so you get a lot of fingerprint scanner icons as you can see of course a lot more than miui inside animations we have a lot more animations when compared to miui again as you can see plethora of options even for the like animation of the fingerprint scanner and you can also change the fod pressed behavior state so this is the color which emits the light from the fingerprint scanner you can change that too from here and then we have the lock screen charging animation and stuff charging info shows up charging animation is there again and wake up on plug you can disable it this force fingerprint authentication is there but i don't know for me it does not simply appear like whenever i reboot the phone the fingerprint icon does not appear on the lock screen it might work if it does appear but right now if i reboot the device once the fingerprint option just does not appear on the lock screen i have to enter the pin but yes this feature may or may not work with the feature updates let me scroll down we have the music visualizer and then the weather kind of settings which i was talking about so yeah this thing works fine on the lock screen inside gesture we have the swipe right screenshot so as you can see this is the asus kind of screenshot gesture a long edit and share button is there for the screenshots then we have the double tap to sleep on the shaders bar and lock screen as well in the notification panel we have the edge lighting option and this works flawlessly and you can change the colors from here of course you can change the duration and stuff and then okay so i have selected this use accent color for whatever that is why you cannot tap here if you disable it as you can see you can say change the accent color of the edge lighting over here let me scroll down we have the heads up disabling option then we have the show media heads up and stuff notification ticker is there custom notification icons are there i guess let me scroll down we have the vibrate on connect call waiting and disconnect option blink for incoming call is there let me go back we have the themes option and you can really customize the themes over here as you can see this is the normal kind of customization where you can change these fonts as you can see plethora of fonts are there you can customize from these many fonts and here you can choose an icon and if you go in and you can set like this okay so yeah a lot of customizations are there in terms of these themes and here if you want to customize the things a lot more here we have the accent presets you can choose any preset from here then we have the rgb accenter from where you can pick a color up and i have set this blue and yellow you can change it to whatever you want and this bliss black i have set it over here because the background becomes totally pitch black with this bliss black kind of settings let me go back and inside headline and body fonts again we have plethora of fonts here you won't be having any problems with the customizations of the fonts and stuff here there are a lot more options when compared to any other rom let me show you the status bar icons these are the icons present then we have the quick setting toggle style and you can change between these many toggle styles a huge amount of customizations over there again and switch style you can change that too to one plus narrow and stuff like that this is the toggles of like the whole ui which changes i guess and inside more we have the one ui kind of thing then fingerprint authentication vibration and stuff is there rounded corners is there shows cpu info is there force close notification option is there so yeah a lot of customizations are there again go back and inside battery settings this is how it looks like and we have to scroll down just like this over here in the battery settings as you can see and the battery life i would say is decent you can get about six to seven hours of screen on time but don't expect something like nine ten hours of screen on time here i would say at least by default without the battery saver and smart charging battery saver and performance the extreme battery saver is there thermal profile you can set adaptive battery option is there and if you want to see the full usage you can see from here let me scroll down again we have the battery temperature over here screen on time over here and the last full charge and 18 watt fast charging works flawlessly here no issues with the fast charging in this rom and it does not heat up the phone or something with the 18 watt fast charging it is working super fine no issues let me go back in the display settings here is how it looks like we have the night light adaptive or auto brightness then we have screen timeout etc screen attention and stuff is there the default color is boosted and full screen apps you can change that double tap to wake is actually working fine anti flicker mode or dimming is there if you want that dark theme and override force dark is there so if you want some apps to be totally black like miui 12 or something you can see do that from here and inside sounds let me scroll down we do have the mi audio direct and there are plenty of options for this mi audio direct you can change the preset and you can set this hi-fi audio settings too if you have a really good headphone you can disable touch sound screenshot sound etc also we have this vibrate and like haptic feedback touch vibration vibrate for calls is there and then you can change the vibrator intensity 
to like medium or like light or something if you want it to be strong you can do that just for the ringtone and you can set the notification vibration to like light over here or you can choose it to be disabled if you want to have no vibration with the notifications you can change the ringtone vibration pattern from here as you can see and inside security we have the fingerprint and face unlock let me show you the face unlock over here so let me just double tap now uh, let's double tap to wake and as you can see it unlocks right away from the like lock screen as you can see i don't have to swipe up the screen i just double tap over here and it unlocks so yeah the face unlock speed is fairly fast i have no problems with the face unlock speed here and also you can customize it as you can see you can have the swipe to unlock if you want that feature particularly like if you enable it and as you can see from the lock screen it's not popping out the front camera i have to swipe up then only it will pop up so yeah this is a nice feature that you can customize it inside system we have the bliss updater and you can check for updates from here of course let me go back we have the gesture settings of course the android 10 gestures are there and if you're noticing the pill bar i have increased the size of it as you can see gesture bar size and we have a lot more customizations just for the like gestures of android 10 here then two and three button navigations are there too so that's not a problem you can have the front camera led disabled if you want that and you can change the sounds of the front camera led popping out if you want that and talking about the stock things there are this about bliss kind of thing looks pretty cool as you can see now we have this devices kind of thing you can check check the maintainer's name or something from here you can donate to the developers of course from here so yeah that's pretty cool and there is also this audio effect so you can have it enabled if you want to for the speakers or for the headphones and we have this bliss papers option too as you can see there is this bliss one and it should work pretty fine but right now it is not quite loading fast there are some preloaded apps over here but yes mostly it's minimal experience here and in terms of the stock dialer we do have the call recording option and adding call option so yeah the stock dialer does have call recording option and that is a really helpful feature in my opinion and if you're worried about netflix and amazon prime 1080p yes they should work fine as the security level on drm info shows as level one and it does pass the safety net test so you can use banking apps like google pay right out of the box here in this rom now let me open some apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management here let's open facebook now twitter i think the default animations are set to 0.5x over here of course that is why everything feels a lot smoother in this rom let me open instagram let's open this google home now spotify now what else can i open amazon now let's open flipkart so right now let's just open all the apps from memory again and as you can see all the apps should stay in memory just like this and i can scroll through them play store is still in memory amazon still in memory flipkart is still in memory so yeah i think the like app open up speeds and the memory management here is flawless no issues even though this is a 6 gb ram variant everything is holding up really really well i don't have a issue with the memory management or app on speeds here everything is super fast and snappy over here everything is buttery smooth and in terms of gaming performance and stuff everything should be working fine with the hdr and extreme settings like with pubg and with the call of duty and stuff you can play with anti-aliasing and stuff with the highest settings possible the high quality thing and here is the end to end kickbin score over here on this rom so yeah that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from kdn tech signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now